pretend to be happy and it's not working very well. Hello and welcome to Bulletproof Art. If you don't already know me, my name is Sam and I'm addicted to bullet journaling. If you haven't already, go ahead and click that shiny red button down below to be notified every week when I post a new video. I'm super excited to plan out this month because it's my birth month. Yesterday was my birthday and I'm another year older now. Yay me. I'm also excited to plan this month because I'm working in my new bullet journal and I'm very excited to break it in. Next week I will have a video out of me planning the first couple pages of my bullet journal before I get into my monthly spreads and stuff. So be on the lookout for that next week. Last month I did a giveaway so if you want to hear the winner of last month's giveaway stick around to the end of the video and I will announce the winner of last month's giveaway. I'm not doing a giveaway this month because I have a lot of stuff going on right now with doctor's appointments and I've been really busy and trying to get myself back to 100% health. So I apologize, but without further ado, let's get to it. I'm very excited to be planning July spreads because July is my birth month. I was born on July 2nd in 1995. So I turned 23 years old yesterday. Happy birthday to anyone else born in the month of July. All the moon children out there. For my theme this month, I was gonna do fireworks, but I felt like that was too, like, mainstream. So I ended up doodling this mason jar light thing on my little brother's tablet. And I turned that into stickers, and I used them to make stringed mason jar lights as my theme. And I really like how it turned out. The red color is inspired by July's birthstone, which is a ruby. So that's why I decided to make it red. And it kind of gives like a picnic-y vibe. And that also reminds me of summer. So I, I think it all ties in very well together. And as you can see, I screwed up writing in July. So I just wrote it again over some cardstock and pasted it on top of my mistake. Now I'm moving on to my monthly calendar and I really like how clean cut this page turned out. I'm all about straight lines and symmetry and such so I'm very excited to be using this journal. If you're new to my channel, then you won't know. This is a brand new journal for me. My last journal was a disc bound journal, and I must say I am enjoying this so much better. The downfall to this journal versus a disc bound journal is if I make a mistake in a page, I can't take it out and put it somewhere else, like if I put it in a spot that I don't want it. So I have to plan very more meticulously, I guess you could say, as to my disc bound. If I didn't like a page in a certain spot, I could take it out and put it in a different spot. Whereas this one, everything's stuck in the spot that I put it in. So, but the thing I like about this is there's no discs in the center of the book. So it makes it easier to write stuff without that getting in the way. So it has its ups and downs as does the Disbound journal. Um, but honestly, I'm in love with this journal so far. And my Discbound journal was really, really bulky. And this one isn't as bulky. I mean, of course, it's going to get a little bit bulkier as I use it and put stuff in it. But so far, I haven't really put anything in it except for my pen and my markers. Um, in my Discbound journal, I had put in a lot of scrap of paper and a lot of bulky um, embellishments and stuff like that. So that sort of made it bulk up a a little bit more so we'll see how this goes by the end of the year how how big we can get this one <laughs> now I am working on my sleep in my mood trackers these I sort of stopped using in my last journal but I want to keep trying to use them because I feel like it's important to keep track of my mental health and my well-being and sleep and mood kind of go hand in hand with all of that together. And I just kept them simple, that way they're easy to keep up with. They're just simple bar graphs. And I added a few little hanging stars and also some more of the hanging lights down on the bottom.
This next page is a YouTube video tracker and I decided to start doing this because when I do my videos I get in like these weird procrastination states where like I know I need to make this video and keep on track with everything but at the same time I have no motivation to do anything so by writing it down I feel like I'll be able to hold myself more accountable to stick to the schedule that I've set for myself and that way I can get the videos out on time for you guys <laughs> so it's a win-win for everybody so basically I have a little box in the middle that tells me um, I usually upload on Tuesdays so the very first column is every Tuesday of the month the next column next to that is for the video inspiration or the video titles of whatever I'm uploading that week and then the FEU is film edit and upload and then I'll just check off each of those things as I do them and then underneath that I have a video ideas sort of like area to just jot down any random ideas that pop into my head for later use. And finally is my expense tracker. And if you've watched any of my videos, this will look exactly the same as it usually does. I don't know why I still film it. Uh, enjoy it though. <laughs> the only thing different on this one is because I haven't been working that empty space down on the bottom. I kind of just left blank. Um, that's usually where I would put my income tracker or like my payday tracker, I guess you could call it but I left that blank because I'm not working at the moment. It's really amazing how you can go one month having two jobs to the next month having zero jobs, but the bullet journal is very adaptable and you can fit it to meet your needs when your life changes, unexpectedly. The last spread in this video is my first weekly spread of the month. My next couple weekly spreads I will do in separate videos, so stay tuned for those. And that about wraps up this video after I do my final flip through and show you everything that we've created together. If you happen to make any recreations of this, you can tag me on Instagram. My information can be found in the description. As always, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to be notified of when I post new bullet journal inspiration every week. And as always, guys, stay creative. I'll see you next time. Bye. Thank you so much for sticking around until the end. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and don't forget to click that big thumb button. But it is now my honor to announce the winner of July's giveaway. The winner of the giveaway will receive the items that you see here. And the winner of last month's giveaway was Vintage Ranty. I think I, I, think I said that right, I hope so. Um, so congratulations to you. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next week. Peace and love. Stay creative.